Hi guys, um, once again, I uh, just want to thank ever so much for you guys keep tuning into these videos. If it weren't for you guys, I would not be interested in making movie video related to you guys, or any videos, in fact. can't thank you enough. So if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, it goes, it means a lot to me, and quite honestly, and when I do these updates, I just get blown away with the support that pours out from you guys, and obviously, quite honestly, and making new friends from this. This is why I started making videos. I'm not making any money from doing this. Quite honestly, I just do this as a hobby. Um, like I said to you guys, that I make friends from this. This is a bonus, and quite honestly, it just proves how un strong unit the movie collecting community here is on youtube because i've got a few people involved already on the five pound lockdown internet blu-ray hunt challenge i know it's a mouthful and a half i've probably got it all wrong way around if you want to get involved you can do quite honestly look on the previous upload on this very channel please please do because quite honestly it's going to be an interesting thing to see how many people do actually take up this challenge so far i think i've got maybe two people that have taken up this challenge I've got a blu-ray and DVD collector or DVD and blu-ray collector whichever way I do apologize William thank you ever so much you've confirmed that you want to be involved in this um, movie mads involved with this I'm hoping other people get involved with this because quite honestly we're a strong unit here on YouTube but end of the day we're giving back to the community that people they're selling the Blu-rays, not the big guns, because quite honestly that's why I'm doing these updates when I do the big gun ones on a separate one. Because quite honestly, like I mentioned about Music Magpie on that video, I meant to say don't use my Music Magpie, Magpie sorry. it meant to be like pr basically pre-owned titles from private sellers that are running a business or in fact a seller on eBay. That's the reason why, because obviously this torrid time, not like Music Magpie, Zoom, etc. Now, speaking of Music Magpie, I was blown away with the title that I actually picked up because I did not know it had a Blu-ray release, because I was looking around for it on a DVD. I know I'm going backwards, but the DVD, when I looked, was £9. £9 for the DVD that was pre-owned. That was a bit steep, but I thought, you know what, I'll buy the Blu-ray because it comes with the DVD, brand new. For £8.50. This is when I looked and I was like blown away with it. I had to pick it up. And quite honestly I was surprised even to find it on DVD. I didn't even know it had a DVD release. I used to watch this as a kid on VHS. It goes towards my music bio collection. Because I've got like Biddy and Rhapsody. A Star is Born. I know that's a uh, fictional characters. But they made it look believable. I've got, um, I want to get Rocket Man at some point. Um, what else have I got? Joe Lee Lewis. I've got um, Ray Charles. I've got, oh God. I forgot his name. James Brown. That was it. And then obviously I've got to get some Elvis film, um, bios at some point in the near distant future. But like I've mentioned, it's cost me £8.50. This is a steal. It's the cheapest I've seen on the internet. Quite honestly, I was blown away with it to pick this up. And quite honestly, from Music Mad Pie of all people, and they do have brand new titles on there, so sometimes you do pick up a bargain. But like I've said, I've not picked up an expensive title in a long time, but I had to pick this up. It's proper nostalgia. And quite honestly, all I've done is open this. I've not even looked inside. But obviously, I knew it was from Music Mad Pie by the envelopes. It is no other. Always. Oh, it looks like a PlayStation 3 case when I first got it out. I thought they sent the wrong thing. So it's a dual format of La Bamba. Uh, the Ricky, uh, Richie Valens story. The true story of him. A great movie. Absolutely great movie. Um, obviously, it's La Bamba. It's very interesting cover art, and I wonder if I've got any disc art because people are always interested in disc art or cover art. If there's a reversal slip uh, towards it, there's no cover slip I've noticed. Um, I'm going to stick this on after when I've as upload this. To be honest, and watch a bit of nostalgia. 
great, great movie. Um, if anyone has never seen it, worth picking up. If you do like your music and you do like your true stories, um, quite honestly, I don't normally take them out of the string wrap, but I mean, like, obviously to show you guys, but because it's a new title, I was even surprised it was on Blu ray big time when I came across it. So basically, the Blu ray comes like that. The DVD comes like that. So basically, the DVD and Blu ray are the same. We've got a reversible cover up. I do actually like that image, but it would have been nice if they put like um, chapters or something there. It looks weird because they put so much effort in the cover, but when they've literally made the age certificate so tiny it's unbelievable <laughs> like on the spine it's just mad so it's got 1080p resolution it's like DTS HD master audio from the obviously on the blu-ray edition option with subtitles and hard of death of hard of hearing Feature long audio commentary by the director and co executive. Co producer or executive. Hmm. Feature length commentary. Um. Remembering uh, Rich's feature rare. Music video from. Um, Bamba and obviously the theatre trade up. You know that that's pretty decent, you know, you get those extras. Sometimes I don't like to read all the extras and everything, but it's worth picking up if people like their movies like I do. Um but Wow. That's a, another classic. I don't like the see through case though. I'm not one of these people that likes these multicolored cases i know it's crazy with people that do mu movie collecting it's up to them they do it their way but if they were going to do this i would have actually put this in like a red case to match the writing or a black case or a white case to match his suit oh god i sound like those people that do that you know i'm not disrespecting you do that you do it your way, your collection, fantastic, but a see-through case doesn't look right for this title. You know, it doesn't give it that much justice. I might actually replace it into a blue one. I know it's a bit outlandish colour. It would have been, like I said, red or black or even white. But see-through? Nah. Doesn't seem right. But that's just my quick pick-up today. I've got another pick-up coming very soon from Zoom. And then obviously that big massive video that I will be putting together with other YouTubers as well as obviously I will upload my collection update um, on a separate video as well. But obviously when everyone uploads it to their channel I'll rip it and I'll put it all together so I can actually put it on this very channel. But what a what an epic movie. It's worth watching if you do like um, true stories, you do like musicals, well, music-based true stories. You know, it's a highly underrated movie. don't know how many awards it won or something when it first came out, but such a good movie. Such a good movie. I'm glad I've actually got hold of this again. I've not seen it since I was little, watching it on VHS. You know, it's just a great great movie please guys go out and buy it it's a must for all movie collectors quite honestly but until next time guys stay safe stay at home but until next time catch you guys soon